What the hell? It's delusional garbage. My mother is dead. Just because you're ignorant of something doesn't make it not true. Up until a few hours ago, you thought Babe kidnapped your son. JR's mother is dead. Derek, get her out of here. At the Mardi Gras ball, she was alive and looking good. You thought Dixie was at the ball? I guess she was the other uninvited surprise guest. Well, maybe if I hadn't blown up Erica's party, Dixie would have revealed herself. Dixie's surprise. Oh, well, don't you all feel like deluded suckers? I mean, here you've mourned and you've grieved and you, you cashed in on their grief. And, and it turns out the joke's all on you. Dixie is alive and well and stalking you. You're Aren't so you dead. Dad, you hear me? She's insane. She doesn't know what she's saying. Derek, just shut up. Especially about Dixie. Oh, Derek, protect me. <sighs> what you did to my son and babe, you burned yourself a life in a dark hole. But by dragging my mother into this, using her... I will make you so Dixie raised you better than that. She would be so disappointed. She, clearly, she raised a viper. You know, maybe that's why she didn't come forward and say, I'm alive, I'm here. Any mother with you for a son would rather stay dead. Stay on us. Fire us. in hypothermia. What's your town? 94. She wasn't submerged? No, that she was... That maniac Janet Dillon locked her in a freezer. Oh my God. Oxygen loss? Not severe. Pupil 2 is open. Tell me, tell me what happened. On three, gentlemen. One, two, three. Easy. You want film, full CAT scan, cranial views. Tell the OR to get ready. If we find any traces of blood in her brain, that pupillary reflex. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I did. And I will do it all if it is necessary, but let's start from the beginning. You're a nurse. And you're the hind end of a donkey, as far as I can tell, but I'm willing to keep your secret if you will do your job while I do mine. I think we'll go and take a check just to be sure. Okay. Do you think you can use this crud to get off? Nail down the insanity defense? I am perfectly sane. Prison is better than a psych ward. Shut up, Janet. You stole my son! I was trying to give him a loving upbringing. I deserve a medal. Thank you, babe. That girl attacked me. She needed to cool off, so I gave her a timeout. You set off an explosion that killed innocent people. And now you want to pile on this crazy crap about my mother? That's very crude. I, I think if Dixie were dead, she'd probably spin right out of Just her grave. Just lay off him, Janet. I love, I love my mother more than anyone in this world next to my son. And you think you can use her to stick it to me? JR, JR. Her brains are fried. She doesn't know what she's saying. Is anybody listening to this? Now look at this. The Chandlers have spoken. a oh, big deal. You and Big Daddy Love over here trying to act like your human Dixie and I know so much better. I bet you she saw you behave badly and took off. Mom! For God's sake, stop! Stop hurting everyone! I'm not hurting everyone, honey. I I'm not hurting you. Not me. Not me! Oh, my God, you really... Amanda, do you want me to take you home? You! No, honey, don't let her come between the two of us. Um, I just want you to stop talking, okay? Nothing you're saying is making any sense. What, what doesn't make sense? You mean about Dixie's shadow act? Well, honey, would you come forward and say, I'm here if your ex were, you know, jumping all over the, the wannabe knockoff of Eric, you? If you don't get her out of here, she's going to get torn to shreds, I swear to God. You know... You all talk the talk, but I walk the walk. I'm the only one here who really gives a hoot about Dixie. Have you ever thought to yourselves, WWDD, what would Dixie do? Well, I took Remy, that sweet child that you branded with your name, and I took him to take care of him, got him away from you and that babe, that, that immoral turncoat. You know what, Derek? You can go ahead and take me to prison. 
That's fine, but would you please take that sweet, dear child and take him away from these sick, immoral, self-absorbed You freaking people. crazy Just bitch! You could have killed them! Let Derek do his job. I swear, if Babe doesn't make a full recovery, if my son's not 100% okay... Back off, Jay. Just ease up, all right? Derek, I, I think you better stay. help me. Better be safe. Derek! Hey, hey, I'm gonna save the state of trial, and I'm gonna take you out myself. Derek, I want that child protected from his influence. Do you understand me? Come on. It must have been protected. You know, you're not fit to be a mother. You're sorry, excuse. You know, Amanda would have been a lot better off scraping alone on the streets by herself. Not true. I approve my love over and over again. You prove you can't live with people. You psycho. You're a psychopath. And you are a disaster area for anyone unfortunate enough to love you. Come on. I should go with her. We can get you down there later. Yeah, let them process her first. You could use a little time, couldn't you? I have to find my dad. Have you been able to find him? Whatever we have to do to make sure that she's locked up for the rest of her unnatural life. Janet Dillon will never get out of prison. Well, I'm a bad parent. I don't love my son. She's a lunatic. What she did, she accused us. She accused me. Yeah, nobody pays any attention to what she says. They don't give a damn well, what she Why does she bring my mother to? Why does she bring my mother? Son, it's garbage. Just get rid of it. We gotta get to the hospital. Babe and little Adam better be okay. Yeah, they're gonna be okay. Come on, I'll drive you. Well, little Adam's in fine shape. Babe's still not awake. Yeah. Well, why didn't you take him down to the children's ward? We got all kinds of toys there that just have to be tested out, huh? Not gonna do him any good to see all this. Okay. And, uh, I'll, any change at all, I'll let you know. Well, little Adam, son. Crystal. I would just as soon hand my grandson over to Janet Dillon, you, you traitorous, deranged. Oh, for God's sake. Crystal. Let him hold his son. Well, if I had my way, he'd be locked in a cell with that other nut job. Hey, this babe's temp is up. Heartbeat's stronger. She's coming to. Oh, thank God. You'd like to see her? Try not to move around. No, if I don't see him right now, I will get no, up no, and I'll no, walk no, he's out. He's right outside with your mom. He's fine. Janet did a number on you. You're, you're in the hospital. Little Adam's not hurt, right? I'll get Babe's mom. No. You and little Adam had me so damn scared. You know that? What's Janet do to him? Nothing. That I know of. She just pretended that he was her son and wanted to raise him. She didn't hurt him, though. No. Well, she did a number on you. She bashed you upside the head. We can get into that later. Janet's been arrested. She can't hurt you or little Adam ever again. Mama, my baby. He wants to kiss his mommy. My smart, sweet, brave, brave boy. You are so brave. He's so bright as rain. Hey! That loud lady. He didn't. She didn't hurt you. Mom was so scared. She was, but I don't have any reason to be afraid anymore, do I? Because you know? I'm not going to let anybody take little Adam from you ever again for any reason. Thank you. All of you, please tell everyone who helped find us and bring little Adam home. 
I'll owe them for the rest of my life. Yeah.